This week's word of the week is going to be butt joint, not to be confused with a butt weld. A butt weld does not exist. Typically when people say butt weld, they're thinking of this right here. Just a square edge prep with two pieces of metal butting together. That's what a butt joint is. It's two pieces of material butting up to each other. Butt weld does not exist. That's why I got it crossed out over there. It's actually a butt joint. That's a square edge prep, so there's no bevel on it or anything. It's just a very simple one. When you're picking what joint you're going to use for whatever welding application you're uh, performing, you got to think of all the forces that could be on the joint. Tensile, the resistance to pull apart, right? So how much force will it take to pull something apart? Um, torsion, resistance to torsion will be twisting. So resistance to twisting. Compression, resistance to compressing, shearing, be when two um, forces come together perpendicular to each other and uh, try and shear, and then resistance to bending. So all these forces can be applied to a joint. Now whether you're going to use a butt joint or not depends on these forces if it would be acceptable or not. Now with the butt joint I just kind of wrote down the advantages and disadvantages that I could think of off the top of my head. Uh, advantages, real quick here, quick. Uh, if you're doing one of these right here, it's pretty quick. You just take two pieces of steel, put it together, weld it up, right? Full penetration. That being said, if you do a full penetration weld, you're going to get excellent strength. That's right down here. So full penetration strength kind of go together. But with this square butt joint right here, you might not get penetration. If it's real thin, you might be able to get through it. But if it's like a half an inch thick, if you just butt these together and weld them, it's going to be a really weak joint. So there's strength in both advantages and disadvantages. Prequal. I wrote prequal down here. Uh, if you get certified in a groove weld like this, then you're pre-qualified for fillet weld. So that's an advantage. So you can do a certification and get, you know, multiple things on your certs. Uh, disadvantages, I'll that over here. Strength, again, is a disadvantage. If you're doing a square butt joint and you don't get through, it's a very weak weld, especially if the forces are right or maybe it's bending a certain way, it can snap right off. So strength is an advantage if you get full penetration and it's a disadvantage if you don't. Uh, edge prep, it's going to take time to do edge preps, right? And I got the edge preps over here, we got them listed and we'll uh, go over those in a minute. But um, if you're going to bevel the side of the plates, you're going to, it's going to take time. So the edge preps a, is, is a time consumer and that's why it's a disadvantage. And then welder skill. Uh, these are hard, um, groove welds are very difficult, especially if they're out of position. So your welder's skill level has to be higher, which is a disadvantage if you're an employer. But if you're the employee, you're getting paid more, right? So I guess that could be an advantage too. But uh, usually they think of it, it's a higher skilled process, so they think of it as a disadvantage because it's going to cost more money because the more skill you have, the more you get paid, right? That's theoretical, I guess. But uh, edge preps. If I'm, I'm going to show you on these edge preps. I got, I'm just going to pull an illustration out of a book that shows you all of these. But these are all the edge preps that you can do when you have a butt joint. You can have a square one like we just showed you, that's kind of a weaker one. Uh, single bevel, double bevel, single J, double J, single V, double V, single U, double U, those are all the edge preps. Like I said, I will um, show you an illustration of those here in, in a second. Uh, as far as we're on the board, that pretty much wraps it up. Butt joint is pretty simple. It's uh, one of the most used joints in the welding world. It's also used in a lot of other construction fields as well. So a butt joint is not only good for, to know for welding, but also for just about any construction that you're doing. You line stuff up and hit them together, you're butting them together. It's a butt joint. So what we're going to do now is I'll show you the illustration on the edge preps, and then we'll go out and find a couple of um, um, uh, butt joints out in the lab, and we'll show you what they look like. This is just a quick look at all the uh, edge preps you can have, just a little illustration that I found. They're all on there, square, bevels. V's, J's, U's, you name it, they're there. All right, this is the first butt joint that I'm going to show you. I just pulled it out of the scrap in. It's got pretty atrocious looking weld in it, but you can see that's a single V groove. So that's a groove weld on a butt joint. And it's just a single V. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at a butt joint with a square. This is another example of a butt joint that's a square butt joint on a half inch thick plate. Now if you welded that, that would be a very weak weld. So it wouldn't make much sense to do a square uh, butt joint. 
you'd want to do like a V in it or a double V or a U or a J, one of the other edge preps, because you're not going to get any penetration on that. What we'll do now is we'll grab another thinner a uh, couple of plates and we'll look at a uh, square butt joint that might make more sense. This is another square butt joint. This would make more sense, eighth of an inch. It's actually aluminum. And you put a little, little gap in there, a little root opening. Then you can actually get full penetration through it without putting an edge prep on it. So hopefully that explains what a butt joint is. If you don't know what a butt joint is, and you're in the welding world on a scale of 1 to 10, it's probably right up there around a 9 or a 10. It's pretty bad. So that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.